Hello everybody, it's me Katsuki here and welcome to the final week of ADBL. Um, I don't know whether I'm calling this week 7 or week 8 yet, I'll probably call it week 7 just for the sake of the playlist. Um, I'm going up against Fantify here and the West Virginia Wingles, who has a beautiful logo by the way. Um, that logo is my favourite one I've seen, certainly in this league at least. Um, and we're in a position where I'm locked into playoffs but I'd like to try and get a top half seed which I would hopefully be able to achieve if I win this game, I'd be 6-2. So that's kind of the aim, but um, I have a pretty tough matchup against some of the Mons on this team, so um, no promises on that one. Um, Fantify, I believe, is 3-4, so uh, if he wins this, uh, he's got a chance of getting in the playoffs. So not hopefully I can stop that, but um, I want to try and win for, for my sake. Um, yeah, so as I said, this matchup is weird. I get into his team. Um, we've got... Delmise there, which is an underrated mon, I'd say, for sure. Um, you kind of remember it as like, oh, it's just a spinner. It's a pretty boring spinner. It doesn't really have great stats across the board. In this format, those stats across the board are really, really solid. It's got good defenses. It's got good attacks. It has free stabs because of its ability, Steelworker. Um, and you can even do, like, Iron Defense Body Press shenanigans, which in this matchup, considering my team... Uh, with stuff like Guzzlord, is actually a very, very solid idea um, to be wary of there if he runs like Iron Defense, Body Press, a Grass Move, and Poltergeist, he can do a lot of work against me. Um, so that's definitely something to be aware of on my end. In Talion, I'm fighting again. Somehow, um, Felon dropped from the league and then the replacement dropped in Teleon and then Fancify came in as a replacement for a different team and picked up in Teleon. So it's all a bit confusing, but I'm facing Teleon again. I dealt with it well last time, but it is one of the it one of if not the best one in the format. It's really, really quick, it hits really, really powerfully, it can crit and do stuff like that. It's a big threat. I'm actually gonna try and deal with it in the same way in this matchup as I did in the last one. So hopefully that will go off. Well, Otsukuno is just a bulky ice flying type. I have it on my TEC team. Um, it doesn't really get matchups in ups in regular format, but in this, it's just really solid overall. It can do some really good things. Um, ice moves are just really good in general, and it can do pretty well against my team. So there's definitely something to be aware of. It's a defogger. It can use it. It can do all that good stuff. Well, Pico gives me a lot of problems um, because my electric resists are kind of Guzzlord, Gorgeist, like Whiskash. Um, Gorgeist obviously does not appreciate then taking like, you know, the second aura wheel, the turn after where it's then dark type, or a crunch in general. And Guzzlord does not appreciate taking a play rough, which Morpico is obviously going to be bringing to this match. So I struggle to switch into it in this one. I have ways to revenge it. I have ways to kind of deal with it, but um, I struggle to switch into it here. So it's going to be a big, big threat. Morpico is kind of the main problem I face in this one. Sandaconda has a weird matchup. In some ways it's pretty decent. I think it can live a hit from I think it lives a hit from a champ pretty well. So it can kind of do that and try and do stuff like that, but it's not going to be doing much that much back to Machamp. Uh, it also stops me vault switching with Rotom, but it doesn't actually take on Rotom very well because it can't hit back for much, and then Rotom is still going to do a lot to it with Air Slash because it's very physically bulky, not especially bulky. Stuff like that. It's a good rocker though, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see him bring it. Um, Primeape is just a pretty strong fighting type, 95 base speed is good in this format, and it, it just hits pretty strongly, it can U-turn I believe, stuff like that, but I have a Gorgeist which is going to check it really really well, so I'm not sure how likely he is to bring that one. Um, Drumper I think is a very solid bring from here because it checks a lot of my special attackers very very well. With the Assault Vest set, it's just very bulky. It's going to be checking Floats all very, very well. It's going to check Rotom very, very well. It's going to check Kadabra very, very well. So I really wouldn't be surprised to see him do that. Um, while while um, I could see coming here because it matches up quite well against my defensive core, it can obviously hit Fairy moves into Guzzlord and Steel moves into Deancey, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see that, and then it can obviously also knock off into Gorgeist and stuff like that, so that could be something he tries to do, but I have ways of dealing with Mobile quite well, and it is never going to break Gorgeist, so... Not too sure about that one. I think he has better brings than Mobile. Um, one of which is Flareon. I actually do struggle with Flareon quite a bit because it gets fighting moves, so Guzzlord isn't going to check it well. So I kind of have to rely on Dancy to kind of take it okay and stuff like that. Uh, and Mushana is actually a very good bring here because it checks my champ very, very well. It's very, very physically bulky. Even like Darkest Lariats um, with no Col Colva aren't too shotting it. So it's actually one of the best Machamp knock um, Machamp switchings out there. Period. 
um, in this format, so it will probably probably bring that unless he wants to use Delmyers to check Machamp, in which case that's a big weight off my shoulders because Delmyers offensively is pretty scary for me in this one. And then Corsola is worth one point and will definitely not be coming to this game. Um, if I had to predict a 6, I've gone through much faster now, which is nice. If I had to predict a 6, I think Delmise and Teleon, more Pico, and Drampa are probably the four definites. I think Mushana is very, very likely, but I could see him trying to use Delmise to check my champ instead. Um, but I think Mushana's pretty good, and then I'm going to say either the Articuno, the Sandaconda, the Primate, the Marwile, or the Flareon. So lots of different options, but if I had to nail down one choice i would say uh I, I think i'd say articuno personally um so that's where we are with that let's get into my team what i'm bringing and why i'm bringing it sorry if you can hear any background noise i'm swinging on a swinging chair so i may hit a couple of things uh starting off with a champ here I don't know what the speed gives me. I did make this team a couple of weeks ago when we were originally meant to play and ended up not playing. So this is going to be a journey in working out what my things are here to do. Let me just look at his speed stats. It probably makes me faster than Delmise, I'd imagine, because Delmise is pretty slow. That's probably what it's for. Uh, Tramper as well and Santaconda. But Jamper's a good matchup here if I can get it in because it, it's faster than a lot of stuff. So I can kind of punch a lot of holes pretty nicely and I will make sure I just double check some of the prep here speed wise so I know what I can come in on looking at uh, protect is just going to guarantee I get my flame orb off because if need be I can 1v1 like a more pico I don't want to obviously do stuff like that do that we've got close combat which just hits really really hard will destroy stuff like dramper and it's going to destroy other stuff and then lariat is there for the mushana Mainly just it for it, which I think he brings maybe with Kolber, maybe not. He doesn't actually need to bring Kolber. Um, I need to stop doing that. Um, maybe with Kolber, maybe not. Um, could be either. I'm not too sure. Um, and then Ice Punch is actually there to hit Delmise a bit harder because uh, he'll probably be Kolber and then I just didn't really want to mess with that. And Ice Punch is also nice. Like It's a good mid ground if I'm in against Dramper and I know Ice Punch is going to kill. I can Ice Punch predicting Delmise and then it will also still kill Dramper. So that's kind of what I was thinking there. And it also is going to hit Sandaconda pretty hard as well without me dropping my defences. So it's still good because Close Combat's never going to one-shot Sandaconda, where, but Ice Punch is still going to two-shot. So I can Ice Punch twice into it so then I don't drop my defences and take a lot of damage from an Earthquake. So that's kind of what I was thinking there. Um, Deontay's coming here um, with a bit of a mix of Spideff and defense i believe this is meant to be checking flareon and dramper simultaneously the rindo berry is there because dramper can energy ball dramper is just a pretty if it's a more offensive dramper i can struggle with it a little bit because it obviously dragon moves are going to do a lot to guzzlord so it's like okay let's just bring the rindo and check it nicely with diancy who got baton pass there in theory i come in on dramper i take two hits i baton pass out into machamp and machamp kills something that's kind of hopefully how this game is going to go mystical fire is going to do a lot to delmise potentially on the switch um, Power Gem is going to one-shot Articuno, I believe, and then Moonblast is there for doing damage to Drampa. If Machamp's dead or something, I can do that. Doing damage to just anything in general. We don't need to escape. So that's kind of what we're thinking there, and then it's also going to catch my wild and switch Mystical Fire if I need to go for that. And Moonblast is going to do a lot to Primeape as well if that gets a bit out of hand. Uh, but Gorgo should be able to deal with Primeape very, very well. We've got Willow Seed, Bomb, Leech Seed, and Synthesis. It's basically the same set I brought to uh, I brought to the last few matches. Just physical defense is just a brilliant, brilliant wall, really. Frisk allows me to see items. Colberry is nice because it allows me to take like a knockoff from a mobile or um, a crunch from a more Pico slightly better and I can uh, do a lot of damage to that back or wisp it. Uh, Leech Seed is just nice for residual damage on stuff and then also residual recovery for me. And then Synthesis is obviously just there for longevity. Um, if he doesn't bring Articuno, um, this thing has the potential to kind of just sit in against his team really, really well. It's also going to be switching into Sandaconda nicely as well, so I'm likely to get glared. And this game could last a long time if that happens. So that's that. Guzzlord is coming here again, also mixed defensively, which is why this matchup's a little bit awkward. Um, essentially, I feel like I probably go this or more Pico to start with and then go out into something else predicting a play rough because I don't really have good options for it. But we've got the Assault Vest, which allows us to take on Inteleon well, still even without the investment. And then the Physical Defense, which allows me to kind of take on Flareon, take on the um, more Pico, okay. And take on Delma is okay in terms of switching into it, but obviously it can't just body press, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, and 
I have still run physical moves despite the chances of a Iron Defense Body Press set, and that's because of, I think you can see Rotom currently, um, that's always going to do a lot of damage to Delmise anyway, so if I can just get rid of its item, that's always nice, it means it can't get like, left over his recovery if that's what he runs. Earthquake is there because it one-shots more Pico, I believe. Rock Slide is going to one-shot Articuno, and then Dragon Claw is going to do a lot to Tramper if we need to do the 1v1 in that situation, or I catch it on the switch or something, and he goes into it on predicting a flamethrower, for example, I don't know. He could maybe do that. Um, Scarf Rotom fans coming back here, like the last time I played Inteleon, this is going to be a dedicated lead in this one to try and catch Inteleon on the lead again, um, or catch Articuno on the lead, trying to U-turn, stuff like that. It has a solid lead matchup against most of the team because of the Scarf. I can just air slash and do quite a bit of damage to all that stuff. Balls, which gets me great momentum. Uh, we've got Defog on there just in case I need it because he does have a couple of good rockers in, um, I don't know, in Sandaconda. And Mawile are both decent rockers, so in case rocks drop, Defog's quite nice there if I need it for Dojo, for example. And then Thunderbolt's just there because it can actually sweep in the late game. If, like, dramper has gone and uh, Delmise is gone, it can do a lot of damage. Um, so that was kind of what that's on there for. Because with Scarf, mainly when he's clicking Volt Switch there, because Dramper's going to be a very good switch into me. And Sandaconda as well, but if Sandaconda comes, I'd probably click Air Slash, predicting it, because it does quite a bit of damage there. And Sandaconda can't naturally recover. So it has to go for rest and stuff, so it's good in that sense as well. And then finally rounding off, we've got Choice Scarf Dodrio coming as well. Um, with Brave Bird Stomping Tension, Knock Off and Return. Uh, I don't know what this is faster than actually, let me have a look. Oh, it's going to help me out in terms of Revenge Killing more Pico at all times, because it can get the speed buff from Aura Wheel. It's going to help me with Inteleon, it's faster than that as well. It's going to be faster than Central Scarf Primate if he tries to bring that. Uh, Central Scar Flareon, it's faster than that. So yeah, it's just nice as a, um, almost a, like a, not a defensive option, but like a, a counter-offensive option. It does a lot of damage if he tries to bring potential Scarfers, which can do a lot of work against me. Brave Bird, I believe, one-shot Stelmise, unless it's very bulky. Uh, it probably will get close to a one-shot on Inteleon as well. Knock-off's just nice to knock off items. I can knock off into Delmise and do stuff. I can knock off into Rushana and get rid of his Cobra, maybe. I can knock off into Jump and get rid of AV, and then uh, stuff like Rotom actually hits through it a lot easier. Um, it's just nice in general, and then Return's just a solid move to be able to hit if I don't want to take recoil from Brave Bird, it's another stab move, which is legal because uh, cut moves are legal in this one, which I haven't been utilising enough on Dojo. I could even have run Jump Kick here, but it's just a bit too inaccurate for me to want to rely on that. I can hit through Dramper without it. So there's the team, uh, and I will just remind myself of some of the speed stuff and some of the calcs a bit later on, but um, I'll see you guys in the battle. Okay, so I kind of didn't take into consideration that he can't make my off, so he's kind of memed a bit, and he's actually brought Corsola and stuff. Um, but it's fine, I'm actually very happy to not see more Pico, because that thing caused me a lot of issues, and he brings Marwile instead, which does make sense, but Gorgai should be able to do it with Marwile pretty well, as should Rotom Fan. Actually, I should maybe be a little bit more careful with Rotom Fan, because it does take on that Marwile very, very well. Um, Articuno, I'm not too surprised about. Sandaconda is there. See Marwile and Delmise. So that does tell me that the Marwile, that the uh, not Marwile, the Delmise is probably a bit bulkier because otherwise he has absolutely no switchings to Machamp. Uh, I'm going to stick with my original plan for this game, which was to lead with Rose and Fan. And if you lead Sandaconda, I'll just switch out into Gorgeist. It's not too big a deal. Yeah, uh, he leads Marwile actually. So we see Intimidate from the Marwile. See Intimidate. I'm just going to Volt Switch straight out and see kind of what its EV spread is. Actually, do I want to Volt Switch out here? Because surely this is what I want in against my while. How much does Gorgeist take from offensive? Let's assume it's more. Actually, quite a lot. So I maybe don't want to do that. Um, he could also just go Sandaconda here. I wouldn't be too surprised. Um, wouldn't be too surprised. Because this isn't actually what he wants in in this situation. Although he does, he can do quite a lot of damage. 
I do a lot of damage to him. I feel like Xander Condor is coming, right? Coming in here. I feel like he wouldn't stay in. So I'm just gonna air slash and get a solid 50% off on the Sandicon the yeah. 35, so that's more spadef. That is definitely more spadef. That's only do 35, that might even be fully spadef. No, it's probably mixed. It looks to be mixed. That's fine, I just get to go out and see my Gore guys here. Uh, you see Pasho gets a crit, which is slightly annoying. Um, now, he's got Pasho. Let me have a look what Pasho Berry does. It's the water resistor. Oh, so this is here to 1v1 Float Soul, I guess. Yeah, it is the water resist. So, I guess that's there for him to 1v1 Float Soul, because it would kill Float Soul, to be fair. So, I guess that does make, that does make quite a bit of sense. Um... I could Leech Seed, which is a good play. I actually think a better one is to will though, because I think he's fairly likely to go Delmise. It actually goes Articuno, so that's fine. So that's kind of what the play wants to make. I miss a will wisp unfortunately. Um, this is fine, this is what Deancy is here for. He could U-turn. Um, you can maybe go Inteleon, which isn't too bad. That will wisp is annoying. I also should have just Leech Seeded, but you know. Um, could just U-turn, yeah, just U-turns. So we'll probably go out into Inteleon here. Uh, or Mawal. Does go Mawal. Um, am I faster than Mawal? No, I'm not. Definitely not. Definitely not, because it's probably got speed. Rotom is very, very good here. So that's not the play I want to make. He'll Iron Head, right? He's gonna Iron Head. Rotom won't die to anything. And you can Iron Head and deal like 40%. That's fine, so yeah, I'll make that play. He could also knock. Actually, SDs. Which is an interesting play. I get forced to Thunderbolt here, which should be a 50-50 roll to kill. It just goes back out into Sandconda, so not too surprising there. Um, let's go back into my, out into my Gorgeist. See Pasho again. And he'll actually make the double into Articuno, so that's a good double. Um, I don't quite have the momentum in this game currently. Um, yeah, I take way too much damage from something he wants to do for that to be worth it. I could also go my champ in this scenario because. What does he go into? It's tough, tough play here, to be fair. What are we saying based on that U-turn damage? Into your giants. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll just go out into it again for U10 since so that's fine. He actually acts. Also, oh, it's physical Articuno. That makes sense as to why that did so much. Oh my god, that did a lot. Jesus Christ. Wow. Um, I don't know if he'll risk the, um, he will risk it missing, and he's going to hit them because what is my luck? Um, okay, yeah, he's going to hit those because that is exactly my luck. Um, I think it's actually offensive as well. For Axel to be doing that much. Oh yeah, 100% it's like max attack. So then it will die to a Machamp hit, right? Let me just check it doesn't get like a physical flying move, because that would be where this goes wrong. Yeah, it does get very bad, okay, let's not do that. Uh, I'll just go out into Rotom. We'll go out into Mobile this time, so we'll make a mid ground, and this will take a lot actually from the Volt Switch, yeah. Uh, is that enough for it to be in range of a Dodrio? Hey, he's worked out, he knows my, um, he knows I'm more offensive now, because that's the first time I'm like, oh, you probably get from time to come over there. Um, 36 is min roll, max HP, which we know this isn't even that. How much does my return do? Slightly less, we don't want to risk that. What happens if it's like, max defense? Fish, 25 min roll instead of 26, right? Oh yeah, this goes. And he doesn't really have switch ins to this because I think Santa Connor gets two shot from 65. It should do it. And we know it's more speed F anyway, so yeah, it definitely will. I always think um, Santa Conda has stamina for some reason, it just really does not. Uh, he could sucker here, I guess, which won't kill, it will do a lot though. Yeah, we'll do like half, so that maybe wasn't my greatest play in the world, but it's fine. He actually will switch into Corsola, which will take this probably pretty well. Yeah. There's Corsola, everybody. Um, Brave Bird doing 20... 32, so it's not that bulky. Okay. Oh, this thing can regen, that's obnoxious. Um... It can't. I might just try and get my champ in here. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna try and get my champ in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get my champ in here. He'll get rocks up because he knows I'm scarfed on um Rotom, so that's a good play. Um. I think I just hard ice punch into the down nice, right? I 
I think that's my play. A hard, a hard ice punch into the down mass. Yeah, that physical Articuno kind of messed me up a bit. Um, that was not anticipated, it was not part of the plan. Um, that's going to be tough for me to beat, for sure. That's going to be really tough for me to beat, because I don't think Rotom kills it. I mean, this is... It, it's definitely offensive, based on the damage. I mean, it's probably got the speed. So yeah, my Thunderbolt's going to do like 77, so... That's a thing. But it's enough to where Dojo would then kill it afterwards, or I can brave bird with Dojo first, maybe. Something like that. He'll go out into Delmise, which gets two shot here under all circumstances. It's actually a more offensive Delmise. That is a more offensive Delmise. To take that much. Uh, it's maybe got a. I haven't been rolled, but it's got a bit of defense. Yeah, it's got a bit of defense. Um, oh, I never posted Borygon. Not now, Lariat. Um, I feel like Lariat's actually the better play here. Well, no, Ice Punch is gonna hit. So he's never gonna go Santa Conda. He might just sack this. Or he'll go, like, Inteleon. Then try and take, like, an Ice Punch. Yeah, I'm faster. The, the speed was for, for Delmise. I'll just Lariat. It is Colba, but uh, it dies anyway. So that's good. Um, the champ kind of just gets kills for free when it comes in. So, who'll go mobile here? Can mobile. Okay, mobile max speed is faster, yeah. That's good to know. So that means it's jolly. It's also intimidating, not sheer force. Yeah, it would kill me here, but it's now going to do way less to Gorgeist, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just go Gorgeist here and I click Synthesis and get back up. You see E Belt? Player will do 24. Yep, does confirm it's jolly, so it's faster than Machamp, and we see E Belt. Um, let's just check if we see. Oh, if we see an Expert Belt. And he goes for a knockoff, not grass knot, <laughs> a knockoff into Gore Guys, so that's not going to trouble me. Yeah, it's doing 20% max, so we're absolutely fine there. I'll just go for synthesis. He'll show sub, which is interesting. Um, that's actually kind of bad for me because I don't think I break this with Seed Bomb. Yeah, I don't, but it, it can't recover, so I'm fine with just Seed Bombing this twice to break it, I think. Um, yeah, this is fine. Um, he'll get up to plus three, and I still don't think anything he does kills me. Yeah, it, it still only does half. Oh, we'll do 57 though. No flinch is good. Marwa will go down. That's really nice for me. He'll, he can go Articuno now. Pretty freely, and I. Sack against it, I guess. What's the least useful member of my team? It might actually be this, you know. No, because this sits in again. This just beats the, the rest, right? Provided I get to synthesis up. Oh no, Ice Beam does a lot to me from Inteleon, actually. But I kill back with Seed Bomb. He has to keep Sandaconda around, because otherwise Rotom kind of just wins. If that's a thing. Um, he has to go for Axel here. Yeah, 
Salty Kuna is tough. Let's assume, like, worst case scenario, it's adamant with Axel and stuff. Axel, Brave Bird. Yeah, that's not fun damage. Into anything. Not fun damage into anything. Some which beats Corsica and the Machamp which beats. Does Machamp one shot Sandaconda from here? That would be the question to ask because we know it's more Spadef. Yeah, I think it does. Let's take out that, let's assume. Yeah, it will do because it's at what 65? Yeah. So, and Machamp will also live a hit from Intellion, I believe. Yeah. So I just need to get rid of this Articuno. Yeah, so I'll just sack here. You actually miss Axel, which it's a very inaccurate move. So it is one of those. And actually, that burn is actually huge because it's actually physical. I'm gonna apologize for that because that's pretty big. Um, yeah, Axel will just be like that sometimes, you know. So, oh, I'm gonna have to delete the page again because I've turned this thing to being burned. That's that's not even Articuno, but it will now default everything's being burned, which is really annoying. I have to redo this set again. Um, so now I'll just synthesis in this thing's face, I think, because I live. Even if it's adamant, Axel is doing max 36, so you'd have to max roll. And that's if he's adamant. Which he could be. So I'll just synthesis in this thing's face now. Uh, 7, 15, he'll hit them all and he'll get... 7... That was more... It's given me the actual damage there, has it? Hold on. Seven add fifteen add thirteen. Oh, it's only given me thirty-five. Okay. I think that was a max roll, which is unfortunate. But, um. Does Jojo actually live a hit from it now that it's burned? It actually does, yeah. Actually, no, I don't, because I'll take rocks. I should probably just return into it. And that's 50. How much is that going to do to like course look on it right away? Not, not very much. This is constantly not. Oh, I'm going to have to reset the article set again. And I'm going to 
once it's burned. It's got Axel, more importantly for this calc, it's got Brave Bird into Machamp. Yeah, that's more damage than I'm comfortable taking, if I'm honest. Um, Godlord will actually take this quite well. Yeah. And I can rock slide into it for 70%, so let's do that. I'm surprised I didn't see, we didn't see Drampa to be fair. Yeah, of course it's not going to take much from that at all. Um, they took 19? Uh, yeah, so it's just kind of what it is. Um, you can like toxic me, that's probably the worst thing it can do. I might just hard go Machamp again, to be honest. Yeah, it's hard going Machamp, I get a kill, basically. Kill Scold, that's fine. Take 25% off there. Jeez. And now I just get to CC. Into whatever he wants to go into. Articuno, because it's offensive, actually dies, I think. I don't know, Corsair's actually doing pretty decently, to be fair. Like, I disrespected it before the game or something, but, you know, it, it's actually been okay. And yeah, he's keeping Sandaconda in the back because he knows he has to keep it uh, around, otherwise Rotom wins the game with T-Bolt. Um, so he knows he has to keep it around, but Rotom can still do quite a bit of air slash as well. We'll go to Kuno, which may live. It doesn't. That's brilliant, actually. That's really, really, sh that's really, really good for me. Yeah, he just goes hard and telly on here, unsurprisingly. I'll just go out into my Guzzlord, and he'll go for Air Slash. So he's actually got coverage for Champ. He didn't need to go for it there. Snipe shot killed. Um, how much is my Earthquake going to do to Corsler? Not much, I'm assuming. Yeah, not much at all. You could Ice Beam here, is the one thing I'm wary of. So I'll just knock. He probably goes Corsola though. No, he actually just stays in and air slashes. Oh, he gets the flinch, that's slightly annoying. Um, is Ice Beam going to kill now? Based on that air slash damage. It might, you know. Oh, it's actually going to, isn't it? That's really frustrating. Oh, he's just air slashing again. Oh, it's thirty percent. It's literally thirty percent. Oh, damn! That's a big flinch. That's a big flinch. That is a big flinch. Um. So, what has to happen here is we're going to go Rotom double the champ. Because you just go Sandaconda here, I assume. This has been a good game. This has been a good game. He's had some really funky prep and it's worked really well for him. Um, oh, there, that's. That's that then. Really didn't think he'd stay in there. That was a, a bold play.
That was a very bold play. Um, because that would have done nothing to Rotom as well. I could have air slashed there, realistically. Sandaconda, the new air slash did that much to myself. Actually, Sandaconda can't do that much to me, right? It looks like he's spexed into air slash. Because why is he still going for it? Scope lens isn't. Yeah, it's it's specs, isn't it? He's specs into. Yeah, he's specs into it. Okay. So Intellion is specs, and he's specs into air slash here, which isn't going to do much to Rotom, right? He's also not going to kill Dodrio. Dojo does just allow him to go Corsola though. Is the only issue with that. So yeah, I'll go Rotom. And I... Will Vault switch this turn, I think. Oh, it's tough. This is tough. Because I never do enough to Corsola. Actually, if call if it's only Corsola left, no, but I kill, I kill myself. I kill myself to recoil, eventually. And Scold does actually quite a lot because Corsola did the trade. Articuno's dead. Corsola showed Scold. Yeah, no, he made a bold play staying in there. I'm continuing to air slash. I'm surprised he did that, but he did. Um. Hmm. I'll vault switch. Okay, he does stay. He does continue to stay in. So we get rid of that. Now he gets forced to go Corsola, and I click high horsepower into the Corsola. And then if hmm, I don't think I win this, but I don't think it's over either. Um, Corsola it's not fully physical, right? So let's assume it's maybe got 120s for death. That's, sorry, that, that is just not 120s for death. My air slash is not going to do much at all. Is the problem. I think it's worth just stomping Dantrimming into this. Because it will free shot. It'll actually two shot. Power gem will kill though. Um, and I have to lock into air slash. Otherwise, I can't win the game. Um, but air slash isn't going to kill Gorsler here, so that's GG's on that one because power gem will kill me. Yeah. Uh, Sasha isn't even a two shot. I'll just T bolt for the differential, actually, yeah. Oh, we can bury anyway, okay, fair enough. No worries, it's ones. Um, at least I was in playoffs anyway. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a max roll on the Articuno. Because let's, let's just go and have a proper calc with that for a second. So we've got Gorgeist there, and then we've got Articuno. And let's assume it's max attack, adamant. Max attack, adamant with boots, I guess. 
you get axle going in there and if it's burned the max roll it says here is 34 so it clearly wasn't boots if it was like expert belts then it's a roll um that's unfortunate i was on the wrong side of the roll there and then yeah it's it is what it is but then again he did miss, miss axle that turn but then i missed a willow earlier so and that actually would have been big against the Oscuno because it was physical and it wouldn't have gone that kill on the Yancey either. So, um, unfortunate misses there for sure. Um, and Rotom was very, very close to being able to still win that at the end. Um, of course, it worked out. Um, yeah, I think if it was the play where he stayed in with Inteleon and just air slashed again, like, I don't know. That was, I don't know whether that was really, really good or really, really stupid, but it worked for him. So, there's that, but um, it means I get I think a bottom half seed for playoffs now because I kind of my the uh, I mean the game I lost last week was really stupid on my part I shouldn't have lost that one but um I'll probably play I'm probably playing like Phoenix Pineapple or um Flyperio I think I think they're all they're all six two I think so um should be interesting I think I can I can beat I can beat all of those guys though I think if I really put my mind to it um no I just got. A little bit unlucky in that one, a little bit thrown off by his prep on that side and made some good plays as well and had some good prep on my side as well, but in the end it just wasn't quite enough and the cards didn't fall right for me here, so thank you for watching everybody, goodbye.